Hi, Misha here. And as we've kind of talked about, I'm going to be doing a very informal and not terribly long or in-depth. You know, really this is a just a tent thing. A new series called uh, Gun of the Day. And this is basically just to, to be here with everyone during this uh, coronavirus thing. And to keep putting out tent to just sow solidarity. So I'm just going to randomly kind of pull a personal gun out. Every gun in this is going to be a personal gun. Talk about it. I don't know. Just tell things. And uh, I pulled this one out. Even though it's been in a ton of videos, I thought, why not give it yet another video? Not only is it one of my favorite guns I own, it's also one of the most sentimental guns I own. And uh, we've been through a lot together. This is, of course, my Romanian SAR SAR 1. This is 7.62x39, and this is one of the two true AKMs that have ever been imported. Now, when I say one of the two, I'm also including, like, the, the Romac 1, the WOM 1, the Kerr 1, any gun that was imported from Romania between 1997 and 2003. It's just the SARs are the most common, and this is mine. The other gun would, of course, be the Egyptian Mahdi ARM. But, uh, yeah, I've talked a lot about this gun, the model in general, and mine in particular. And the reason I decided to start here, I think this is the gun now that I've owned the longest. That I, it's Looking back, thinking back about some of my early gun purchases, I bought a Mosin, an SKS, a couple of Walthers, a couple of Makarovs, Tokarevs. But most of those have been sold or traded up since then. But not... My SAR-1. That's the cat. Just ignore him. He's not bright. And another reason I decided to bring this out on the AK files, there's been a lot of talk about SAR-1s lately. They come up and uh, they're finally starting to kind of get their due. They often played second fiddle to other 90s guns like the Mac 90 or the Mahdi. But... This is just a great example of a Romanian PM63 semi-auto. It has all the... It hits all the notes. First and foremost, it takes standard AKM furniture, stock, pistol grip, handguards. has a 1.0 millimeter thick receiver. It does have the XY stamps on the other side for the pins. It does have magwell dimples and it has a standard double stack magwell it's not one that has to be cut out the reason i stuck a little short mag in it I actually had a 30 rounder in it before i started this video then i just happened to run across a little shorty these were all imported between 1999 and 2003 so during the assault weapons ban so they actually sold with a short mag that was new, be it 5 or 10 rounds, and then they usually also shipped, when legal and possible, with a pre-band, pre-1994, 30 round mag, which mine did too, but, yeah. Now, after this, guns like the Wasser, those had to come in with a modified magwell, but the, the SAR-1 was probably the last AK to come in with an unmolested magwell. But it still had to comply with the 89 import thing. They had a thumbhole stock. And they, just like any gun still today, had their bayonet lug machined off in a non-threaded barrel. Even your modern Wasser 10s come in this way. It's just that Sentry welds back on the bayonet lug. Now, more modern guns, they do have... Threads from, from Romania, what they do is they put a nut on there like this, and they they weld it on, and then Sentry pops that weld and unscrews it. But since these were all sold during the assault weapons ban, 
No bayonet lug, no threaded barrel. They sentry would convert them, pulling off the thumbhole stock, putting on a military stock. So the only evil feature they could have was a pistol grip. Now back in the day, they had a black Romanian knot grip. And by that I mean it was just your generic sentry arms checkered and it was a convex checkered grip. Romania does this concave checkering. Now newer century guns like the Wasser do have a faux Romanian grip where it is the concave. But back then it was just a very generic grip. I pulled that off and put it on a Romanian. You know what's funny is back then and uh, when I bought this Romanian grips, Romanian parts weren't everywhere like they are today. In fact, AK knowledge wasn't everywhere like it is today. So it actually took me a long time to put the right grip on. Another thing you see on mine, I put PM63 furniture. Actually, it's technically Romanian G furniture, Garda furniture. You can tell by the stripe on the buttstock. But this was not my first furniture change. This came with the nice shellac furniture, but the buttstock was always a little loose, and even if I tightened the screws down, it still wiggled. So I ended up putting black AK-74 furniture on it for a while. And then when I get an SCR-2, the black furniture moved to that, and then I put a wire side folding stock, push button style, on this and wood hand guards and it, it stayed that way for a while and then finally oh 15 years ago maybe I put this furniture on picked it up I thought it would be fun to have the dong front the uh, the SARs all came in with the with the typical AKM palm swell hand guards they did not ever come with the dong but I thought why not Romy Romy guns, that's kind of something unique and special about them, is the, uh, the dong stuff. So it's been wearing this furniture for a long time, but it went through a few changes early on, the first five years I had it. Also, for a long time I never bothered to put on the bayonet lug or thread the barrel. I still haven't really cared about the bayonet lug. I don't want to pull my gas block off, but I did thread the barrel a couple of years back. And because I'm crazy, I threaded it and immediately just put a muzzle nut on. Did install the detent though. So, <laughs> most people would put a sugar scoop, but I was kind of going more for the classic PM63 look. But yeah, this gun holds a lot of memories to me. Like most people's first AKs, this went out and shot with us all the damn time. <laughs> I've told the story about buying it and the friends and everything. I remember when we, we bought it at the gun shop that Saturday, then we ran out to our cabin to shoot it. It was getting around dusk. So we were frantically loading up mags and just that sound, the feel of the old communist. Because <laughs> again, they were pre-man mags, the 30 render it came with. I think I had the 30 it came with and I bought a pre-band 40 at the gun shop because they had one. And then of course I had the little mag and uh, just shooting it. and It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I would shot 7.6239 before that, and out of SKSs and uh, Mac 90s and such, but this was mine, my first purchase, and it's had thousands upon thousands of rounds through it. It's probably jammed. I don't remember it, though. It's been exceptionally reliable. It did stay with my dad's. He, he We traded on it a few times, and he had it for about five years, and then I got it back. Those were kind of five years I was out of the country a lot anyway. I think he got it from about 2005 to about 2010. 
That sounds about right. Eh, maybe 2009. Because I was gone from about 06 to 09. He just liked it. It is. Good gun. And the Wasser, the modern version, is a good gun too. And the Romac one before it. A lot of people say that the Romax had better fit and finish. I don't know. I mean, some do, some, some don't. That's the thing about Romanian construction. There's a lot of variation even within the same, same thing. I've said this on other things. If you have a Romanian gun and it has a uh, pre-1997 date to the Trunnion, it's a kit build. It might have been assembled in Romania, like a Wasser 1063, but um, Romanian AKs only started coming into the USA in 1997, and really the, uh, the SAR-1 was the first true widespread mass import. And it uh, came with, like I said, typically one 30-round pre-band mag used, one brand new 5 or 10 round shorty, which were basically just cut down 30s from the factory. It came with a cleaning kit for the buttstock. And it actually came with this sling, which is one of my favorite slings, this Romanian green sling. They're just very comfortable and... Yeah. But since I was going for a PM63 look, I put on an older Romanian leather, which if you own a Wasser... That's what a lot of those used to come with back in the day. Plus you make noises with it. But this was definitely my gateway drug gun <laughs> to the AK world. And uh, again by now, probably one of the guns I've had for the, uh, for the longest time. So yeah, my first gun of the day. One of the guns I've owned for the longest. Um, which gun in your collection have you had for the longest? I'm curious. Anyway, I'll keep doing these guns of the day. Please feel free to give suggestions. If you could, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you'd like to help support the channel, please check out the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha. Catch you very soon next time.